In this video, I'm going to talk about capacity or capacity profile within Dynamics 365 Customer Service Omnichannel application. Now, what is capacity profile? Is capacity profile defines the type and the amount of work an agent can take. Okay. Now, it's the capacity you know which agent has uh, in it. So, take for example, if you have five users within your organization, with those are five agent you can say that for a specific agent uh, they can take 100 tickets a day or maybe 20 tickets a day or maybe uh, i can say uh, an agent can take five medium requests two high priority requests and seven uh, low category requests so you can define capacity profile based on that okay so you can create a capacity profile for low priority request you can create a capacity profile for high priority request you can create capacity profile for medium priority request and you can specify the quantity so that's how you define the capacity profile now you have three different capacity profile now you can assign this capacity profile to a user and then the user can start working on those cases now why this profile is defined because uh, you need to define this profile so that the user does not get burned out you know while doing this exercise so you can't uh, push 100 tickets to a user in a day and then the user or, or the agent will get burned out by doing all those tickets okay so you need to specify some sort of a limit uh, so that all your work uh, arrangements are properly streamlined now users can be assigned multiple capacity profile as i told you and supervisor can override the agent's configured capacity now the scenarios to use capacity based profiling is like uh, when agents have varied experience and skills within your organization work items are of varying capacity work items are assigned from different channels uh, one channel assignment impacts other channels okay uh, and agents need higher limit on amount of work assigned to them now if this is the scenario then it is a wise candidate to use capacity based profiling now there are two types of profiling one is capacity based profiling and then the capacity unit but you can't use both okay either you have to use one capacity profile or maybe you just use unit based capacity is not taken into consideration during the consultation session okay this is the point which we may need to be made very clear users must be used as a bookable resource to be assigned capacity profile so any users who's marked as a bookable resource will have the capacity profile assigned. There is something called as an escalation profile, and those are used when chat conversation is escalated to voice or video calls. As you see in the screen, this is how you create a capacity profile. You create a profile name, put some work item limit, reset frequency. You can, against an user, you can define the capacity, capacity profile. You can, uh, update the capacity profile from this interface from here you can see that not only user but a bot user will also have a capacity defined over here now as you see over here this bot has an enormous number of capacity now this is unit based okay this is unit based this is not based on profiling now in the work string you can uh, configure the work distribution and in the work distribution you can can configure the capacity profile for that particular work string now the capacity is either unit based or profile based unit based any work item coming in will consume a fixed amount of numerical work unit defined here so if a work item is being uh, requested then whatever you define over here will be like assumed that has been like say consumed by the agent who's working on that case profile based is completely different this is based on you define the profile and then you start working on the profiles based on the set limit and the set limit can reset after uh, it is completed so after reset users can get assigned work items within the defined time limit now what if the work item limit is exhausted then 
there is an option which can we can select like assignment blocking now if assignment blocking is turned on that means assignment blocking transitions the presence to busy dnd that's the status you have been put into when the max work item limit is reached an assignment will be blocked regardless of any other matching capacity profile after having available capacity so that means if you don't want to work on any other cases once you are exhausted your case then assignment blocking uh, should be marked as yes now let's jump into all those things in our uh, screen so let me first go into the customer service admin center and start looking in capacity so let's go into user management capacity profile if we go to user management capacity profile this is how you create a capacity profile now i've created some capacity profile let me create one and i'll call this as a uh, super high capacity profile now work item limit is say maybe two maximum amount of work item each user can work on until reset so two high capacity super high case a user can work on okay within this profile reset frequency either it is immediate or maybe at the end of the day okay now i have reset it at the end of the day and i want assignment blocking so after this is done no other request should be entertained i can assign a user to it now maybe i can assign say johanna to it let me go back let me refresh the screen yep so here uh, what we can do is like i have created uh, a profile which I'll call it as uh, super high you know, profile. And then I've added a work limit of two and then end of day assignment block years. Let me uh, add a user, which I've added a user as Johanna. Now here I shouldn't click here on Johanna. I just say add user. And once this user is added, I will just click on save and close. Okay, so Johanna is added to super high profile. Now that's how you create a super high profile. I have already created edge capacity profile where the work limit is four, reset frequency is immediate, and then you know you can create this profile, and then any user assigned to that profile will have those uh, rules defined. Now, as you see over here, Alex and Giresh is assigned to edge capacity profile. If I go into G capacity profile, I can see Alex, Giresh, Yohana, and Leku. So that means a user can be assigned to multiple profile as well. You can add a user from here you can refresh and you can say delete the user from a profile as well now if you go to user management if i go to users if i go to manage here i can see that uh say let me go to alex so i'm going into the profile of alex and here under omni channel I can uh, see the capacity profile assigned to Alex. So this is an, another way to view the capacity profile. I can see the max units. I can see the reset duration, block assignment, all those kind of things over here as well. Okay. Now, let me go into search admin setting and let me go into say agent overview okay and go to user management sorry in user management i can see there is an enhanced user management section it says manage key attribute like skills capacity profile and associated queue for users in bulk okay so if i click on manage at once i can select multiple users say i select multiple users i click on update capacity profile i can add capacity profile over here okay so let me select uh, say super high profile if i add a super high profile and i say this quantity is two okay or i can override this i can say quantity is say, three okay and i'll say add to all okay now you see here super high profile three 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 is being added okay so at once i have added a capacity profile to multiple users i can save this and then this is all done 
So this is how you can assign a capacity profile to multiple users. Now, again, going back to users, I will show you that not only a user record, but a bot as well has some sort of a capacity. So if I click on bot, this is one of the bot from Power Virtual Agent. Now here, if I go to Omnichannel, you can see there is a capacity. Now this is quantity based, okay? This is quantity based and that's why you don't see uh, those uh, capacity profile over here, okay? Had it been Alex, you would have seen the capacity profile. Now, let me go into work stream. So let me pick up any work stream. So let's say Kirish chat work stream. Now here in work stream, under work distribution, okay? If you see this work distribution, you will see capacity, block capacity for wrap up and default skill matching algorithm. So if I click on see more, here I can exactly see what kind of capacity do I want for this work stream, either a profile based or a unit based. If I say unit based, I need to specify a quantity. So let me say 45. So it says any work item coming in will consume a fixed amount of numerical work unit defined here. So any work item will consume say 45 points. Okay, so you can have unit based or if you don't want that, you can use profile based and you can pick up any work item coming in, can have a capacity profile associated here with max units block assignment. So I can select a super high profile, okay? And then I can block capacity for wrap up, always block, don't block. Now, what does this mean? If you want to see some more information, it says, customize how long agent's capacity is blocked for the wrap up state. After this amount of time, Agent's capacity will be released again. This will not apply if reset frequency is set as end of the day in capacity profile. And then you can set default presence available to the agent as well. Now, these are the different places through which you can configure the capacity profile. Now, remember one thing, this is the fundamental. Either you can go unit based or profile based based on your company's uh, algorithm which you guys have defined in the backend you can select those but mostly i've seen people using profile based kind of an application whereby there is a diverse set of requests like say if there is a different skill set available within your organization or if the ticket is coming from different systems uh, and different technologies then it is wise to have a profile based algorithm for any small organization which is uh, no, uh, it's like if an agent resolves all the requests from a customer, uh, then I think you can go for unit based. So it's like more kind of a generic based approach. You can go for unit based, but if it is specific, then I would prefer going profile based approach. So that's it folks. This is all about capacity profile within Dynamics 365 customer service agent to wrap up Capacity needs to be assigned to a user. Capacity can be assigned to a bot. And then based on capacity, the work gets distributed between the agents. Thanks for watching.